Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn that how we can calculate double declining balance depreciation using Excel formula. The double declining function computes depreciation at an accelerated rate. Depreciation is highest in the first periods and decreases in each successive period. For that purpose, we need the following information, which is the initial cost of the assets, the purchasing value of the asset, the salvage value is the value of the asset at the end of its useful life, value of life of assets, life is the total useful life of the assets, the period refers to the number of periods for which we want to determine depreciation expense. So let's start how we can do that. We need to active this cell to calculate the yearly depreciation. Press equal. Go to formula bar and financial. You can see here DDB. Okay. Here are some arguments like cost. Cost is this one. Salvage value is this one. And the life of the asset is 10 years, period is this value. The factor, this is optional value. If you will put any, any factor, if, if you put 1, 2, 3.5, whatever you will put, or even if we want to write it here, 2, there is no problem. So if we will not write, write the 2 figure, so there is also no problem. Let's see, first we will uh, do it without writing the 2, factor 2, because it's double declining, that's why we will use the 2. So press OK. As you can see here, the first year it is 20,000. Double click on it, and here you can go to the formula bar, and here you can write factor 2. Okay. Now enter, as you can see, there is no difference in the depreciation it is 20,000. Now we need to move further. So we need to for move further for the second year. First we need to make some values constant like cost, salvage value and the life. We will go to the formula bar and we will press F4. This one also F4, F4. For this other cells we don't need to because we it will move further with the other years. So we will press enter hold it from the corner and drag it to the last year. This is the depreciation of first year, second year, third, four and so on. As you can see here, depreciation is highest in the first periods and decreases in each successive period. Now we will calculate the cumulative depreciation of the asset. We will press equal, this first year depreciation, equal second year depreciation plus the first year depreciation. We will hold from the corner and drag it to the 10th year. This is the total depreciation of 10 years for our assets. Now we will calculate the total depreciated asset value. After one year our asset depreciated this value minus this value. It is 80,000 value remaining. Now we will make this value constant here in the formula F4, enter and we will hold it from the corner and drag it to the end. As you can see here, we have the final residual value is 10,000. So the salvage value is 10,000. So it means it is okay. It is double declining balance depreciation. That's why the salvage value is not according to this value. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like our today's video. We will come up with the other videos soon. Thank you. Goodbye.